Well, here's a second Newton's law problem. This time we have a wagon being pulled forward by applying a force at an angle to the direction of travel. And we want to calculate the acceleration of the wagon, but in this instance we have a coefficient of friction. We have a little bit of friction between the ground and the wagon. So that's going to fight us um, in pulling the wagon forward. So we resolve the pulling force into force along the x-direction, along the y-direction, and um, we have a friction force that opposes the motion, as friction always does. So then we have the force of gravity working on the wagon, and the normal force is just equal to the force of gravity in the upward direction. Okay, so let's think about the applied force first, and we'll make a triangle to represent those force vectors. There's a 40 degree angle between the hypotenuse and the um, horizontal force, which we'll call f of x and the hypotenuse is a 20 newton force. So the force in the x direction is 20 newtons times the cosine of that 40 degree angle. And that is going to be, um, keep your calculator set for degrees, 15.321 um, newtons. The force in the y direction is 20 newtons times the sine of that 40 degree angle. And so the force in the uh, upward direction is 12.856 uh, newtons. Okay, so we're not finished calculating our basic forces. First we need the force of gravity, and that's going to be the mass of the wagon plus its contents, so that's 7 plus 24 kilograms, and that's all times the acceleration of gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. That's just F equals MA, Newton's second law. And so the result of that is going to be 31 kilograms times our acceleration, 9.8 meters per second squared. Our units are going to be in newtons, kilogram meters per second squared. And the resulting force is uh, 303.8 newtons in the downward direction. Now the normal force is just the force that the ground applies upward to the wagon, and that's going to mirror that force of gravity, 303.8 newtons. And we'll have to subtract, though, the upward force that we're putting on the wagon, 12.856 newtons. And so we get a total normal force uh, that's the difference of those two vectors. And that resulting force is 290.9 newtons. Now, the force of friction is the coefficient of friction times the normal force. And we know the coefficient of friction, so it's mu times F sub n. Mu is 0 0.023. Remember, mu is the Greek letter lowercase m. So we just multiply that by our 290.9 newtons, and we can find the frictional force, and that's 6.69 newtons. And that opposes f of x, so that'll have to be subtracted from f sub x. So the net force in the forward direction is our 15.321 newtons, one of the first calculations we did, minus the 6.69 um, newtons. And remember that friction always works against the motion, or friction always opposes the motion. So you're always going to be subtracting a frictional force from a force in the direction of motion. Okay, so the net force in the x direction then is going to be um, a little over 8 newtons because it's diminished a little bit by the force of friction. And so finally we can calculate the acceleration. We use Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration. So acceleration is force over mass. I'm going to have to squeeze this in here. Uh, 8.63 newtons divided by the total mass of the wagon. Um, and that should say 31 kilograms in the denominator. So we have an acceleration of 0.28 meters per second squared.